Traffic and road signs can be noticed along roadways and pathways. They help regulate vehicular and pedestrian traffic, warn commuters of the possible dangers and obstacles on the road, guide travelers towards their destination in a safe manner. Traffic police officers are those who are responsible to direct vehicle movements on the road and stop and find drivers or pedestrians who are found to be breaking the traffic law. It is the traffic police department's job to ensure safe and smooth flow of traffic, enforce traffic rules and regulations, and spread awareness about road safety through educational banners, skits, and demonstrations. Commuters on their part have to be aware of the traffic's do's and don'ts and be familiar with the signals and signs displayed by the traffic police, especially at crossroads and junctions. Drivers and motorists as such find it difficult to see pedestrians in the dark as the visibility will be poor. It becomes all the worse if the pedestrian is wearing dark colored clothes that have no reflective stripes on them. This makes it important for especially students to wear reflective stripes as their uniforms tend to be dark in color. Wearing reflective, bright colored or fluorescent clothing will help vehicle commuters to locate the pedestrians better and thus help in safeguarding the pedestrians. A good alternative to visible clothing is to put on fluorescent and highly reflective stickers on one's bag or coats or wear fluorescent arm bags. Surprising as it may seem, a majority of fatal accidents take place in parking lots and one's own driveways. Therefore, you need to be careful not only on the roads, but even when passing through parking lots and driveways. Look out for any vehicles, especially cars, entering or exiting driveways and parking lots. Do not rush or rush without watching out for vehicles. It is up to you to be careful. You cannot expect drivers to pay attention when turning the corner or backing out of driveways and parking lots. When it gets dark, keep your driveways illuminated and choose lighted up areas of parking lots to walk across them. Every rider and driver should dutifully observe the speed limits as delineated by the traffic police on a certain road. The speed limits vary according to the type of road and region. The higher a vehicle speed, the more are the responsibility of collisions, accidents and damages to life and property. It is very difficult to react in time and control a vehicle that is speeding owing to which a majority of accidents and deaths. In most countries, speeding over the set limit is punishable by law in the form of fining. It is also important to note that speeding does not necessarily mean going over the limit. Going well within the limit can still result in disasters depending on traffic flow, road conditions, weather conditions, visibility, condition and type of the vehicle, and skills and focus of the driver or rider.